Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my Calculator Sky Scientific Edition. And... Hmm. Looks like OBS is monkeyed up again, and I have no actual game sounds. Yep, stupid thing. Alright, yeah, OBS has just gotten worse over time. It really has. Alright, um, so, you're making circuits still? Why are you not... Am I out of obsidian? No, I am not. Wait a second, though. Um, do I not have obsidian in a drawer? Oh, I do. Right there. Okay. So then you've just gone completely stupid then, huh? Wow, that's, uh, yeah, Obsidian on whitelist. And it's a Pulverizer, which, hey, look at that. So... Of course, I am... Okay, I'm using it over here. Yeah, no, that's, uh... Does that have to be on for that to work? I doubt it, but... It's a bit of a mess over here, isn't it? And your extract is not filtered at all, because it's filtered on the input side. Oop. What are you processing? Oh yeah, glass, okay. Um, right. What the heck? Alright, how about we turn that side on, right? And I upgraded my satchel to resonant, finally. Actually, I just made a whole new one. So I wasn't sure if it would retain the items inside. And... Right, so you're not getting anything quite yet, okay, which is good. Um, and if I hit, if I click, we can just pop it open in our inventory. We can do that. And you're not running currently. What the? Yeah, like everything over here shut down. All right, this is my Lumium. Uh, this would be... What is... Yeah, this is Envar here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Should be keeping a stack of, of uh, nickel, or not, well, nickel and iron in there. And it's just like this one here shut down. Like, that connection's just not working now. So, let's uh, refresh the connection a bit, then. Okay, and you remembered. Very good. Yeah, this is still running. Well, this one's not, though. Well, looks like it might be slowly running, but... No, it's not. Okay. 
It is keeping Osmium in stock, but that is literally it. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. So it's either the conduit connection right here screwed up or the, the slave did. One of the two. Yeah, we even have Obsidian now. Okay. Problem solved. Yeah, that's kind of vexing, actually. Not going to lie. Uh, this system, though, is running great. Uh, let's go ahead and hop over to here. Uh, yeah, we've got 366. We've got 1268. We only have 1100 of the, that, but we got almost 2,000 circuits now, too. So that means we can actually make crystallizer now. Hopefully, right? Oh, you're going to be like that, aren't you? So I need four circuits, I need two atomics, and a casing. Okay. At mech. Here we go. Steel casing. I need a couple of atomics, and I need some of these guys in. And we got the chemical crystallizer done. Which is... Here, that's no, here. All right, uh, sneeze break. Whew. So I need an electrolytic separator. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna make a bunch of mechanism machines right now. I think. So I need this, but this is gonna require one of these electrolytic cores, which is gonna require some osmium dust. Which I can pulverize osmium blocks to get. Or a crusher, but that one's been disabled. Alright. Uh, do I have any osmium left? I do. Okay. Now, osmium ore was... Petrothium. Okay, do I have any of that left? A little bit. Alright. How about we grab two stacks of you, a stack of you, and a stack of you. And over here, grab our flawless, and one, two, three, four, there. And now that was a scientific calculator, I think. There, we now have a stack of osmium dust. I can use to make speed upgrades, I can use to reinforce plastic blocks, and I can use it to make electrolytic cores. Let's make like a dozen. There we go. And put that away for now. I'm going to keep this on me, just in case. we go, and then we're going to go ahead and make ourselves one of these, and then I can also use this, I guess, to make myself a gas-burning generator, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be a quest as well. That's literally it, right? Yeah, just those two machines, okay. And there's our gas-burning generator. Called it. Uh, we need a rotary condensator now. So, this thing. Okay, I'm going to need an energy tablet, which requires rich slag. I don't want that going in my inventory. Because that'll give it data that will make it, you know, not work properly. Of course not. So, gas, tablet, tank. And I need... Glass and a circuit. Okay. Um, right. We get a glass right here. We go. Don't have as much as I thought I would by now. Hmm. And then circuit. Rotary concentrator is done. Uh, then I need a chemical oxidizer. Purification chamber. Okay. Uh, let's go for purification next, I guess. This quest chain. Uh, this. 
I need two of these. Let's make a dozen. All right. Boom. There we go. And I'm going to need an enrichment chamber. Which means this is probably now not going to work. Oh, called it. Uh, what else was that? Uh, two osmium and... Really? Okay. Alright. Boom. At mech, which I actually don't have a whole lot of stuff for mechanism in here. Alright. Osmium ingots go in there and... Wow. Don't have a whole lot of that left. Well, we're burning through it making circuits. So, yeah. Uh, then... Enriched alloy, which we're actually kind of low on now. But hey, purification chamber. Uh, what was next after that is... You know, I would have thought this would have unlocked. Repairs can... Okay, so no, it goes up that way. I thought it was boom, boom, and I need this one to unlock that one. So I need an oxidizer then. Oh, for... Again, with the things that don't stack. Uh, let's see. Personal chest is pretty easy. And these things are actually really cool, too. Uh, I've got a satchel, though, so I don't really need it. And dynamic tank. And look at that go. All right. And chemical washer. Uh, thing. And then our crystallizer quest completed. And a... Uh, Every one of these things, because I had a gas tank in their recipe, I had to manually craft, because this doesn't get along with how Mechanism does all their stuff. Which Mechanism has always screwed with auto-crafting anyway, so I'm not really surprised. Alright, but now I've got a ton of Mechanism machines. And, okay, we got Gourmet Venison Burger, we've got... Southern style breakfast. Uh, let's see, we've got purification chamber quest done, rotary condensator, chemical oxidizer, chemical infuser, chemical dissolution, chemical washer, and then the chemical crystallizer. All done. <sighs> um, would the crusher work? Because it has buckets of lava in the recipe. Oh yeah, that one's fine. Okay. So, crusher is done. Then we can get into the pressurized reaction chamber and the biogenerator. The osmium compressor, I think, was unlocked beforehand. That's going to be an important one, too. This guy and... Okay, that one... Really? Do I like not have any more buckets in the system? Oh no, there it is. It's weird it didn't show up first. And the osmium compressor. And yeah. Tell by the little fancy icon, that's yeah, pretty important. Sawmill, entangle porter, digital miner. Definitely need to get into the miner, I think. Alright, let's go ahead. Got everything claimed. Alright, cool. Start cracking these things open. Ender tether. Okay. Thankful dinner. Botanical brewery. Four atomic modules. Okay, that's not bad. The gluttony charm. Do I have room for that? Mm. I switch out to portal charm, but it's how often do I eat, really? Bringing dinner. Reinforced obsidian. Cake spawn eggs. And... Party breakfast. Okay, so still a lot of food. Yes, yeah, put those away. Same with that. And all those. And we'll just drain all this out. And now I've forgotten what I wanted the chemical crystallizer for. Uh, 
Uh, it was to make any of these, right? Yeah, for draconium. Because, yeah, it requires any crystal. Okay. Gotcha. I forgot. Now I remember. Got stuck again. All right. So I need... Let's just look up this, right? So I need slurry, which comes from a washer. Okay. So we need... What's the crusher? Uh, probably going to need the crusher, too, actually. Uh, actually, probably not. So I'm going to need... Let me get this out of here, too. Uh, okay, there's my crystallizer. Dissolution, there's our washer. And this stuff... Oh, really? For the uh, creative gas tank? Okay, yeah, it makes sense. All right, so this will turn sulfuric acid and an ore into slurry, which we run through the chemical washer to get clean slurry, which we can then run through to get crystallizer. Okay, or crystallized. And... So, for sulfuric acid now. I need, well, to concentrate it, apparently. I need this sulfuric acid, then. Which is water vapor plus sulfur trioxide. This is where it's going to get really annoying. Uh, I've had to do the, the setup so many times in other packs, it's just... And it's a system I don't ever set up on my own without having to because it's such a pain. All right, so I'm going to need you. I am going to need separator. I'm going to need the oxidizer. I'm going to need two of these, if I remember correctly. And of course, it's got freaking, yeah, things in its recipe. Right, so sulfur, we run that through the chemical oxidizer, it turns it to sulfur dioxide. We run that through a chemical infuser. Okay, so I need another one of these then. Uh, with oxygen, to turn it into sulfur trioxide, which we then run through a chemical infuser with water vapor, which is from deconcentrating water, so not a huge deal there, and it makes sulfuric acid, and then we use that to turn or into slurry. So not terrible. Um, you know, I thought I just added that to the list. Oh, well, uh, we need was the chemical infuser. I need two of these and I'm going to need. Yep, there's our rotary concentrator. And you are, of course, going to be a pain. Right, so... Uh, we need a few different things set up here. Alright, uh, one of which is... Let's go ahead and get our... Infuser down. Why did you give me a chemical crystallizer when I've got... Another infuser right here. And then... Oxidizer, I think... Oh, phew, space weird. Something else with mechanism, too, is... What you think would be the front face of the machine actually isn't. And actually you, I need to put probably here. Right. So we're going to do this whole sulfur chain first, right? So sulfur, oxidizer, sulfur dioxide. So I need to get stuff into here. I have a feeling you're actually facing the wrong damn direction, aren't you? Uh, let's see... I don't remember which is which. Do you have a sightedness? You do not have a config. Okay. Uh, worst case is I can rotate, right? I think that may be right, actually, though. And then I'll sulfur. Ah, sulfur. Dioxide. I need oxygen in here. So we're going to need ourselves this electrolytic separator. Um, let's put you here. Going to need an 
triple blue ender tank now. Uh, I don't have any ender tanks made up, huh? Oh, that's a shame. Really? I'm missing unstable ender pearls? Place. Thank you. Yeah, these are with a dust and ender pearl, right? So. I got a lot of these stupid enchanted pearls. Uh, yeah, Wither Ash will work just fine. Was it a scientific? No, it's a regular. Uh, do 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 do. Just get a couple of these made up just so I have an extra one. Uh, let's get ourselves some lapis. I'm going to set you here. And one, two, three. Full of water. Set you to auto output. You're filling up hydrogen and you're putting oxygen into here. Perfect. I got it right the first time. All right, so I need a gas tank over here. One of you. Because the hydrogen's got to go somewhere, right? So we're going to put you here, and you are going to dump excess. So I don't need hydrogen over here. All right, so if I give you this, there you go. I do get a little bit of power from sitting in my inventory. So enough to start with. And then... Boom, we should have... There we go. Sulfur trioxide. Now over here, I'm going to need the rotary decondensator. Uh, this guy. Well, rotary condensator. But we're going to be doing uh, decondensating anyway. Why would you face like that? Do you work at all? Yeah, you do. Okay. And in the interest of keeping it a little bit cleaner over here, and do that. Get some more lapis going. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, we are going to toggle you to deconcentrating mode. Do that. You're getting sulfur trioxide and water vapor. You're making sulfuric acid, which will be output right here. That will go into a chemical dissolution chamber that refuses to face the correct way as well. There we go. Right? Sulfuric acid. Now I just need to get items into here. And now you are going to go into a chemical washer. Right? Then the washer will go into the crystallizer, which, judging by your outputs or input or... So you need water. Okay, not a problem. Uh, we need the slurry, and it's going to output a clean stuff. Okay. So let's go grab ourselves an ore. Um, got a lot of rutile. Uh, honestly, I'm probably going to grab iron, though, because that's the one thing I don't really have a strong need for. And I've got a lot of it, so i got like a thousand. Should have placed this a little more this way, I think. Right, so you go in here. And it ran out of sulfuric acid. All right. Um, so I'm going to need to bring sulfur over here and power. I think it's going to be the two main things. Everything else I'm producing on site. So, um... Do I not already have? Nope. I guess I don't have any programmed flux points yet. One of these days I need to sit down and do that. Uh, I'll tell you what, you can go here. Main power network. There. Everything should be powered up. Um, yeah, if you're getting your water vapor in. You just need sulfur now. 
And now we wait. Hey, we got slurry going, and this thing is facing the wrong direction. All right. Um, Mike here. All right, we have slurry going in. Awesome. Now, next stage. I need water. Uh, we've got interfluid conduits. Awesome. I also cleaned out my satchel while I was at it. Always active. Uh, do you need... You might want to go up top, actually. Yeah, okay, you want it up top. Okay. Well, let's just disconnect that completely. All right, and now we're making clean iron slurry. Now, this guy is going to go in here. Uh, you're going to want power. And it is currently crystallizing iron ore. Hey, we've got iron crystals. Awesome. Now, normally in mechanism, you would then go through and run this through a chemical injection chamber with some hydrogen chloride to get iron shards, which you then run through a purification chamber with oxygen to get iron clumps, which you then run through a crusher, which you then run through an enrichment chamber, and then at that point, you know, you could smelt it up or what have you. And at that point, it comes out to five of the Basically, you get five of these per ore. That's how it works out. Uh, each ore produces 1,000 millibuckets of slurry, and 200 millibuckets of slurry crystallizes into one of these. However, you bastard, don't you do this to me with iron. Draconium accepts any ore crystal. Okay, so I need titanium alumnite dust, and I need master corporea sparks, which... Corpory is something I've never really played with, actually. So I need you. Okay, so I need you. Uh, just one, huh? Okay. How about again? Yep. Right, so I'm going to need to automate pedals. Not looking forward to that one a whole lot. But hey, there's our Corporea Spark, and then we've got Dragonstones already, so we have the Master Spark. Oops. Wrong, wrong key. And then you, I can just pulverize and get one to one. All right, that's awesome. Uh, let's just get two of those for now, I think. Uh, pulverizer, right over here. I was gonna say I, have, I know I set one up somewhere where I could use it easily. All right, and I give it a second. There we go. So now we have you, uh, we've got you, and two of you. It says, accepts any ore crystal. But I'm not seeing iron pop up here. Upper 10, silver, lead. And then it goes into the... Just another ore... Uh, what is it? Just another ore compatibility... Or ore powder compatibility attempt. Something like that. Jayopka. But yeah, no, iron's not showing up here. So that's unfortunate. Um, right, do we have copper? We do. Okay. Copper's pretty common as well, so... Uh, feeling though that I just got lied to by JEI. Um, here, stop. You can have that eventually. Um, yeah, you're gonna need more sulfur here soon too. Oh yeah, it's gonna take a while to get this iron out of here now too. Dang it. All right, copper crystals. Yeah, that's how much iron I had to wait for. And also, it's a lot quicker now. And that is because I just said stuff it and I made a ton of upgrades. So everything 
Well, the noisy machines have a muffling upgrade, but everything else is energy and speed as well. So. Yeah. Alright. Now. Did I put my flawless? I did, didn't I? Yeah. So, two of you, one of you, one of you, draconium dust. Finally. Now this stuff, uh, I can use it to make dislocators. Or we can run through an ultra alloy smelter with liquid ethylene to get eight ingots per. Uh, isn't there another way to get draconium? Yeah, okay, draconic ore, or draconium ore, and the draconic alloy smelter. And this stuff we can... Yeah, stone plus draconium essence. Uh, for the seeds, I need four blocks of draconium. Okay. So, liquid ethylene. Dang. Uh, we made the generator, right? The gas burning generator, that's what it cooks. Uh, this thing here. Let's look at ethylene, though. There we go. Liquid ethylene is concentrated ethylene which is hydrogen plus water and biofuel, which is crushed up plant matter, right? So I do need a PRC though, a pressurized reaction chamber. All right, pressurized reaction chamber, quest complete. Oh, charm absorption for uh, mystical agriculture. It's kind of cool, I'll never use it, but it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty yeah, vulnerable. So, although Chaos Guardian, hmm, actually my version of the pack I think is old enough, I don't think I can get the Chaos Guardian to spawn in. So there's actually been, I think it was, isn't there a recipe added? No, no, I guess not. Okay. Must be thinking of the other pack I play then. Okay. Yeah, it's a shame then. It's, uh... it's the 112 Guardian fight. It's a lot better. Uh, I'm just going to put that stuff away and probably never touch it again. Um... Right, so ethylene. Right. Got myself my PRC. I need a crusher. I'm going to need an electrolytic separator. One of these guys. Because we need oxygen. So I'm going to need intertanks again. God, who saw that coming, right? Alright. No, not the binder. Binder we're good on. Cauldron. And let's go ahead and make two more of these. Because obviously we're going to need them a lot. Just go ahead and grab ourselves lapis to hold on to. And... Right. So I'm going to have to hook up an item flow system for down here. But uh, actually, I've got water right here. Thing is, is uh, electrolytic separator, yeah, I need another one that produces oxygen. So... If I put you right here, there we go. Do I have any crushed steel left? No, I don't. Uh, I might add the extreme sound muffler to this pack just because of mechanism. It gets horrible. It really does. All right. So right hand side is oxygen. Very good. Slap you down there. You've got that. Uh, you are going to need also. Oh, what was it again? It's just water, right? Yeah, it's just water, and then I need biofuel. So I'm going to put the crusher on top of you here. Drop you in here. We're going to set your front. Uh, let's see. Gases. Okay, input. It's good. All right. Items, input up top. Awesome. Output will be on the right-hand side. I can work with that. Fluids. There we go. 
We have our water, and I just need this thing to crush some stuff. And put away my energy conduits. I had to upgrade to the uh, the ender uh, tier back here, so. Okay, you're filling up. You just need something to crush now. Uh, we should have... I think carrots will work. Uh, usually my favorite is actually uh, melons. Watermelon. Uh, especially if you grow them in like a garden cloche from Mercy Engineering. Then you can run the melon block through a compacting drawer. It'll split the melon block into nine slices. And then each melon slice produces like four biofuel. It's great. Awesome for power generation. But you need a way of producing melon blocks. Um, nature essence will work. So it'll phytogenic insulator. So, all right, cool. Good to know. You are running. I uh, need to set your output to the bottom. Right? Now, what am I missing here? Oh, no, I needed hydrogen, not oxygen. Okay. All right. Um, in that case, let's do that for now. So if I put you here, right? And I'm going to set you to dump excess on that. And now I need a uh, gauge dropper. One of these. Might need a second one. All right. Take, right click, left click. Okay. Yeah, I need another gauge dropper. They only hold a bucket each. But it is a handy way of getting fluids you don't want out of where they don't belong. There we go. And you are dumping excess oxygen now. Okay, great. We are making substrate and ethylene. Gaseous ethylene, by the way. So now I need another rotary. One of these guys. Oh. All right. Got the rotary made. And you can go here. We are going to set uh gas to be backside output auto eject all right we are concentrating this now i put my condos away uh let's see you and then i'm just going to slap a singularity tank down right here Well, we're making liquid ethylene, right? Doesn't want to auto eject to that tank there. So it's probably rotated wrong. But at the same time, because I just want, you know, just want to do this real quick, kind of. Um, I, you know what? I'm just going to fuck it. Boom. Oh, that's cute. That is great. Um, dang it. Why is this machine acting so iffy? Uh, why did I look up ethylene? Give me that. Liquid ethylene. All right. Now, are you missing input item? We're currently empty. So if I do that, you now have a bucket's worth of liquid ethylene. And I made more draconium just because I could. Seemed like a good idea at the time. And we're probably going to see 
the Draconium. Yep, show up here. All right. Draconium ingots, finally. Which means we can make a Draconic Core. After I get around to making Osmeridium, which is is not bad, right? It's just the, uh... Wow, does it take a full bucket per... It does. Oh, that sucks. All right. Oh, well. This stuff here, we can use it to uh, run through and make HDPE pellets, which we can use to make the plastic, which we're going to need for basic fusion and crafting injectors, and also the solar neutron activator, which make tritium with, which we need DT fuel for. Which I would be, there we go. It's going to be surprised if we didn't have a recipe using DT fuel. Ah, neutronium. Okay. Liquid neutronium. And then we can use liquid neutronium to do things like the Indus Pearl and the Infinity Armors and stuff like that. Right. So, you know, that's the thing we're going to need to get to eventually. But hey, we've got draconium ingots. You know what? I should probably put you in a drawer. Definitely need to put you in a drawer. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it, and until the next one. Sign signing out. Have fun.